the Disney Lorcana stuff, because people were talking about that in Discord, so let's start off with that stuff. Let's, let's hit it off. So we talked about this about a month ago. Yeah, we need PSA to grade dolls. Yeah, you're darn right. Uh, and speaking of PSA, we're going to talk about PSA with Lorcana stuff, because I think that's kind of our in on this stuff. Uh, we talked about this, I don't know, was it a month ago? It was announced. It had an announcement saying, hey, we're going to do this, the Lorcana people. Uh, and okay, they said they're going to do it at the D23 Expo. Guys, the D23 Expo is this big Disney Expo thing going on in Anaheim right now, 9th, uh, 10th, and 11th. Uh, they live stream, so you can go check it out. And guys, it's just a huge Disney collector's thing. I mean, tickets were expensive. Things there are expensive. I'm sure to get booths and all that stuff. All of that's expensive stuff, right? Disney doesn't mess around. This is a big expo for them. And for sale there, they had these Disney Lorcana cards. It was like $50, $60 a pack, but you got these promo cards and they seem to be selling for a lot of money. So what they're gonna do or what they're kind of saying is we want to kind of make a trading card game based around these Disney characters. So they did do one, uh, someone pointed out, was it only fantasy cards, something like that. I think he showed that they had uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, which yeah, it kind of fell apart, right? But this has something where you spread out against multiple movies, you know, so you're not stuck in one. And I don't think they have the full range of everything, so it's kind of pick and choose of who they can uh, who do and not do. So I think that matters a lot to these collectors. I think they're going to see the ones they like. I'm going to. I think they're going to see the like they like this art, and they're going to run with it. And you already see this happening, guys. These are selling. Mickey Mouse is selling for five hundred dollars himself. Have these sold? So, ooh shit. I mean, they're not messing around with these. So. This is something to keep an eye out for. Now, do I think we're going to be able to get these things? That's the hard thing. That's the thing I keep coming back to where, man, are you kidding me? Like, where are we going to find these MSRP? I think you're going to battle for these just like everybody else. They're going to be super hard to find. So we're going to try for it. And I wouldn't overpay for it. I'm not feeling buying this at $500. I'm just, that's not my in. That's not, that's not how I would like to do things, right? Something like this, though, when the, they say the cards are going to come out next year. Yeah, see, and we'll see. We'll see what the print run and all. I mean, we'll see what, the, what they're going to do with this. And we'll see, is, is there a big crossover between, like, TCG collectors and Disney people? I mean, is it there? I, you know, I'll have to think about a Venn diagram for those two. But, I, I, you know, but, but Disney collectors are rabid, and that's the thing. And they usually have deep pockets because Disney's expensive, man. Going to Disney's a lot of money, so you got to, you know, show up with this stuff. And I think there's a lot of money like behind it. Like these people sell to each other a lot. I think there's a lot of money passed in between them too. So, uh, but something I think, you know, keep an eye on like, will this be like graded by PSA? Will this be graded by CGC? Something like that. If yes, I think that's more your in on this. Or, Cause you know, Disney collectors probably won't know a lot about graded cards or things like that. So, you know, you're gonna maybe be able to get some cheapos, get them graded, things like that. But we'll see and we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, Disney, I mean, I know, I know one or two people who are Disney fanatics gone to like Disney trivia with them and they freaking sweep the whole thing. And you're like, holy shit. Like I answered like two questions. Like they know, like, you know, everything about Disney and, uh, it's impressive. They're really into it. And there's the Disney adults who are really into it. And this is something like they would throw around some money for this. So that's kind of like, I would have no problem selling to them, man. I mean, if they want this, this is kind of an interesting thing. But how to get an MSRP, we'll see. It's going to come out next year. I mean, I'm not going to be paying $500 a card, man. That's that's not me on this. Um, and especially if they get graded or something like that, a grading card company comes in. I'm in, man. I'm in with that. But we'll keep an eye out for this, guys. A year away. So, you know, hey, if you want to spend a lot of money, go for it. But things like this, you know, it's cool to get into the ground level. So, I mean, this is what people are doing, you know, right? Can't fault him for that. Um, a lot of Mickey, you know. In the pin. Mickey in the pin. Pretty cool. So, yeah, guys. But a year away, man. And you can read more about it. There's a lot of... A lot of articles are, like, super, super positive about this is going to be the coolest thing ever. Like, I don't know, man. I, we'll see. You know, I like it. But... Disney people and trading card people. I mean, I don't know, man. We'll see. There could be a crossover, especially if Disney puts a little lean into it. Disney could make it happen because they could be like, oh, we'll do tournaments at Disney. Only fantasy cards up. You're hurt, man. What's going on? 
Get the weekend going off right. So cool shit. So keep an eye on this. But yeah, a year away, guys. So, you know, again, this is something that looks cool. I like that they built hype. This is the way to do it, right? Build some hype for this stuff. And then kind of keep an eye out of it from there. And look for con stuff. Maybe they'll do a bunch of conventions and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so let me go. That's, that's the Disney stuff, man. Uh, let's talk about nostalgic stuff. Because that came from me today. So, uh show you what uh some stuff let me show you some stuff that like when i first opened some uh some stuff that maybe uh impressed me i guess you could say i don't know kind of kind of i thought were cool just right off the bat and one of them is i think the ando box and i think the packaging just in general of these triangle ones are pretty neat they're cool it's good like you know sitting on the shelf stuff like that i think the whole look of it the opening of it it has like uh this is a simple zipper sleeve. This one has like the packs. I don't know. I like the packaging of it. I think it looks cool. Same with like the booster box. You know, nothing too crazy. And this is going to open up. So the white opens up. I think they did a nice job. For a Kickstarter, hey man, this is something. There's not, I don't have anything bad to say about a Kickstarter or something like this. It looks good. You know, they really did a nice job. So for the money and stuff like that, they didn't mess around. For a card game to deliver. I mean, we already saw people like not deliver man so you know this is like a big deal they delivered and they did it with good packaging right so all of that yeah and the nostalgic slow yeah they're perfect right oh why oh i thought you were saying the a and the nostalgics match the box i'm like yeah oh well, i do see that but uh i don't know why for ando oh this is ando dude it's the portal to the realm is that what they said hamwich i don't know let's say it's for ando but there you go. So, like, cool. Like, and, uh, oh, the other thing that jumped off to me. Which one? Here we go. Oh. Is these look freaking good. They did the metal cards really nice. This is, they did a really cool job. These kind of, the quality of these, I was surprised by. These look cool. These look really cool. So. I suggest checking yours out when you get it. I think these are kind of the best thing in the box right now. They're number two a thousand. Um, man, I don't know. If I was gonna buy more nostalgic stuff, I think that's what I'd buy. I think I'd buy these metal cards. I think these metal cards look cool. I think there's a lot going for them. Did I search them real quick? Yeah, and they have a bunch listed, right? 40 listed all over the place, especially because there's two, right? So there's the gold ones numbered out of a thousand, and then there's the silver ones numbered out of what the hell. The silver one is by Backer, right? Two thousand one hundred and fifty. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, the silver ones have a different design, which is cool. That is, you know what? Yeah, that is kind of cool. Uh, 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 uh. The silver ones have a different design. Wait, do they? <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, 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 uh. Are we seeing the uh, like uh, here we go because they look the same to me. This is oh So this is uh, gold gold right here silver right here And they're the same design So Yeah, great buy at seven dollars each guys. These, I think these are super cool super cool So if you're gonna buy something more of nostalgic man, maybe buy these Maybe buy these. That's what I throw out to you. Um, I also opened a box, guys. Remember, you only get uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. what is it? One per four packs, I believe, are the the uh, hollows. One per four. So I got two of this same, two uh, Semperkins. So uh, why did I take that down? So there you go, two Semperkins. But you know, two of the same. So I don't know if anyone's experiencing uh, stacking in the Ando boxes. We will find out. Um, all the promos, I don't have anything bad to say about the promos. I don't have anything exceptionally great to say about the promos. The promos are, are what I expected. Maybe that Ando looks a little bit like John Cena. I mean, I think that's the only thing I'm kind of seeing here. Is That's a little John Cena-esque right there. But the promos look cool. You know, I'm glad I added the promos. You know, nothing like cr super crazy about them. Nothing bad about them at all either. They're, they're, they are very cool. So... Uh, yeah, so let's open up an Ando box, man. We're going to open up this guy. Let's see how it goes. Oh, here's the other thing that I noticed. So we'll open up. There's a bunch of packs in here. This is kind of cool packaging again, so good for them. Way to go, Nostalgics. 
And guys, they delivered. They delivered nice looking stuff in a timely manner. Kickstarter, way to go. They should be very proud of them and the team. High fives all around, right? Um, it's a different texturing. Oh, okay. Um, here, what's uh? Did you guys open any of these packs? The packs suck. I've tried to open these packs. They're like ridiculously hard to open. So I switched to just moving the scissors right away. Cause some of them are just like ridiculous. Well, the one with Bro Lectors, let's do it. So we'll switch to, uh, we'll see if we can get this on the whatnot camera. We'll see. All right, let me see, if, let's see how this goes, guys. Let's see if I knock down the background too. All right, here we go, good luck here. Oops. Moving over. Boom. So there's the John Cena Ando. And what's cool, guys, is they have this uh, like little ripcord thing right here. So very easy to open, cool packaging. Boom. And there's your stuff you get. A bunch of packs and the promo, right? And you also get a how to play. Uh, there's a how to play at the bottom. So that's, you know, the rules. So, wipe this out. And like, you know, boom. The whole triangle comes out. There's your John Cena Ando. Here are your packs. You got your day zero. And then we slide this out from the back. There's your how to play. So if you don't know, now you know. All right, we'll just we'll just take the packs right from here. We'll leave them right there. We'll go. We'll take this and I'll put it over here. I don't want John Cena to get hurt. Um, here we go. Let's rock and roll. Where are my scissors? Well, here, let me try to open it first. Yes, these are day zero packs, right? Exactly, yep. Get the day zero. Yeah, exactly. So that's why these Ando things were cool. We were kind of saying, hey man, you're adding, what was it, five packs? I mean, that's pretty legit. Or four, it's five packs, right? All right, guys, let's try, I'm gonna just try to open it like regularly, let's see. Cause I was like, it was just not, it was not coming easy. All right. They have this little notch right here. You could rip that, but then here you're stuck. Where are you going? You know what I mean? You're gonna kind of, you don't gonna pull through the cards. I, I don't like that. So now you're kind of, huh? You could open this flap again. This is this is no no bueno. So just take scissors, man. And I don't know, man. Maybe I'm weak, dude. Maybe I'm weak. A lucky frog. So that's what we're yeah. Lucky frog, guys. Oh yeah. Okay, we could talk about that. I should pull that up real quick. Um, but we'll, I'll kind of talk through the card. Let's talk through the card as I got him open. So uh, top left, guys. That is what type of card it is. That's an equipment. That's the rarity. That's how much mana. So this is a bubble shield. This is a spell. Top left, that's a spell. Uh, this is some sort of fighter. So they actually have like a, a hit points at the bottom. A Verox. Into the Deep. Medusat. Frigani. Fall. Oh, oops, sorry guys. My bad. Falhalla. Robella. Robel. Supermassive Slingshot. And yeah, so you're looking like top middle, that's kind of the rarity thing. And guys, there's not going to be a hollow in every pack. That's not how these are going to roll, all right? So, kind of cool. Um, we'll see how it goes. And last one, I pulled two of the same hollows, right? So, let me try it one more time. Maybe I'm just a weak one here. All right, not happening, man. We're just using scissors. Blue's cool. Let's get your scissors out. And you're good to go. All right, here we go, guys. A divine blessing, and uh, top left, that's a spell. And oh, here's the back. Let's take a look at the back. Camera likes the back. Mimicus, tutorial level, Lenarva, Lava Bite, uh, Mit Mix. That looks cool, but Mid Majora. But no hollow or anything, that's just a card. Lumoth. Hyrak and sinking feeling so uh, I think it's one in four per hollow so those are all comments guys none of those were the hollows right but that is a cool looking card I do hope I get that hollow but this is how it used to be right so it's like cards you wouldn't get one um, every pack right you wouldn't get that uh, tops refractor in every pack tops chrome you know all right here we go again guys maybe the frog pack will, will give us luck I'm going straight to scissors Screw that. 
And guys, I'm gonna do a booster box today, uh, 8 p.m. Uh, what not? Join me. Buy packs. If not, I'll open them. Cause that's the other thing. I have no problem opening these packs. Cause I will sell the individuals. Uh, you know, so I'll roll with it. You don't. You don't want to. Uh, Mirage. So top left, guys. This is a type of fighter. Uh, this is a type of equipment. Wooden boomerang. Uh, Penbu, a type of fighter. Top left. Uh, this is a type of spell, a heroic resolve, top left. Liddy, uh, type of fighter. Pressure plate, type of fighter. And that guy's top, that's the uh, rarity. We're looking for the red ones. Oh, here we go. The Xenobot, and we got the hollow, right? So cool card, you got the hollow. Very cool. And you get, yeah, about one per four pack. So we'll set that guy aside. Orgadot and the Mob Arena. So boom, okay. So... One thing I, I'm also going to do when I when I sell my booster box tonight is I want to make sure I mix up the packs a little bit in case there is a cadence. Like, it might be, like, nothing, nothing, you know, like every three or, you know, something like that. It might be like that in this. I'm not sure. I mean, I just want to, you know, I want to be sure. <clears throat> so there's our guy. All right, you get set aside. Congratulations. Everybody else, no. I'm gonna have to move this camera around. This is like, I gotta like reach to do this, man. This is, I'm gonna have to fix this for 8 p.m. All right, here we go. Now nah, I'm gonna get a freaking uh, fall over here. All right, let's keep it going, guys. The hollow does look crisp, guys. Uh, you tell me what you guys think. I think these look, these feel fine. There's nothing um, bad. I mean, they really, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about it, really. I mean, it's kind of. It's what you'd expect, right? The printing looks fine. The centering looks pretty good. They look like they're cut pretty well. I mean, you know. Here we go. Okay, so maybe there is a little stacking, guys. Another Xeno bot. Uh, Calamar, witchy long legs, and severe weather. Okay, so guys, that has happened to me twice. So in my, I have uh, opened two Ando boxes. This is my second Ando box I've opened. The first one, I got two of Semperkins. This one, I got two Xenobots. So just keep that in mind. Um, keep that in mind. Maybe you're watching someone open on Whatnot or something like that. They pull fire. Hop on that next fucking pack. <laughs> All right, here you go, guys. Uh, here's the last one. Just toss the case to the side. But yeah, when I sell tonight, I'm going to make sure I mix them up. So... Or just get them, like, out of order so they're not in the order they were put in the box, right? Uh, the old pillfish. Uh, that's a fighter. Uh, Voodoo. Lunch break. Complete yeet. I like that name. A lucky draw. Sarah. Matt the Terra Sarah. Where's the MMA guys in the crowd? Uh, Piragani. Hiragani, but he has the red, so it's like a more rare, cool, but he's not a hollow, but we'll put him up top. We'll make him, give him the glove. Athena, Soul Jar, and Revengerator. So, guys, pretty cool cards. I mean, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't have anything bad to say about them. Let's take one more look at that hollow. Man, I think it looks good. But yeah, so here is what I got from my other Ando box. Were these two guys. So clumping's in the works, guys. So <clears throat> what did it say on the package? I don't remember what it said on the package. I would have to look. Where are you? Mm -mm. Up here, uh, it just says made in China in the uh, Ando box. I don't have uh, anything. Uh, did they have any chips or marks? I didn't really see anything, guys. Did, let me, let's take a closer look here. Hollow looks good. Hollow looks good. Let's go through some regulars. In, the, in this pack, maybe one. One out of ten. One out of ten had a little ding. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, do you have a roller mark on the bottom front? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, just a little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, these two definitely. Yeah, three. Yeah, most of them. Very small, but most of them have a little nick at the bottom. No, my hollows seem pretty fine. It just seems like the cut line, to be honest. I don't see anything too unusual. Like, it's not... It's not a big indent. It's just the light coming off of it. And I think that's just the cut line from this. I think it's okay. Um... But, okay, guys, for a Kickstarter, I'm fine with that, right? Things being kind of iffy quality, good. You know, they should be. Like, I don't want everything to be a PSA 10, right? Like, you know, it adds to the rarity. So, I'm all good with this, you know? I'm all good with this, dude. I hope so. I hope it does, you know? So, keep an eye out for that. But, guys, yeah, there's definitely clumping going on in Ando boxes. So, uh, I will mix up my booster box when I sell it tonight. So, if you guys want to buy packs... Uh, stop on by, uh, stop on by 8 p.m. Central tonight. That's in about, uh, three and a half hours, guys. I'm gonna grab some dinner, uh, and chill out, uh, and then, uh, got some stuff to do. And then, come back and do, uh, 8 p.m., uh, Nostalgic's Booster Box. So join me. And anything I don't sell, hell, I'm gonna have a good time opening it, because I do kind of enjoy this. And I think they got a shot. I think they do. We'll see how it goes. Uh, they turned out a nice product. Good packaging. We'll see if it catches on. I mean, I think these metal cards look cool, so good luck to them and the team. Uh, but to be honest, I'm selling stuff, so you know, I'll, I'll be out there, I'll be right with you guys selling stuff. The only thing I like is the metal stuff. That's really, if I was gonna collect a lot, it'd be those metal cards, get a couple of those, a couple more. But again, getting stuff graded helps too. So, you know, do your thing, guys, do your thing. Um, that's about all I got today, man. That's all I got. Um... Oh, Looney Tunes, real quick. Just because this, is, this isn't coming out for a little bit. So we got a little bit of time. September 20th is the Looney Tunes drop. Guys, I think this is going to be great. Are my metal cards scuffed a little? Let me take a look. Um, I didn't notice any scuffing earlier. Um, I know, more like a... No, actually really nice. Yeah, I have a really nice, really nice on my golds. So, I'm really happy with those gold ones. I really am. Uh, yeah, I think those are, those are, that's a money... If I was uh, in the other TCG, if the, you know, I'm sure they check each other's out. I'd copy that. I'd copy this right there. That's a cool one to have. Uh, but yeah, guys, Looney Tunes coming up, so uh, I think this will be a winner. Um, this is one that might sell better on eBay than it would on Atomic. I, you know, Looney Tunes might be an older crowd. Uh, younger people do know Looney Tunes, but it's more from like Space Jam and stuff like that. Me, I grew up on Looney Tunes. I love Looney Tunes. I'm all about Looney Tunes. I think this is awesome. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of people like me who might be my age around my age who also like Looney Tunes who have money and they're like hey let's throw some money around let's get some so uh, I think people will go for these I think this is gonna be a hot drop not like the other one but I think the print run is gonna be a lot lower we'll talk about it next week we got to see the print run and all that I thought I heard 15,000 premium 15,000 standard so yeah it's a 15,000 each so uh, that's really low guys really low so it's gonna be tough to get but I, I love these so I'm gonna make a little room in my digital wax wallet world and I'll pick a couple of these up I, I'm a fan fan all around um, but yeah redeemables look yeah see yeah we'll talk about it next week I like these a lot uh, Foghorn Leghorn all these people they're, they are I'll say I'll say boy that's that's the shit that's good stuff uh, what is it uh, me TV. So you guys get a uh, me TV. So you get a cable here in Chicago. They play Disney or not Disney Looney Tunes stuff in the morning. So there you go. Tomorrow morning you can watch some Looney Tunes. Like Bugs Bugs Bunny on it, like 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. or something like that. Check it out, guys. And, uh, decide on uh, what uh, 
while you're doing your gambling picks for college football. Oh, jeez. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, come check out Whatnot. Uh, I, I put this Whatnot up late, so uh, we'll see what's going on. Um, but yeah, stop on by. Buy some packs. Uh, see what's up. Uh, we're going to be doing that. It's later tonight, though, though guys. Not doing it right now. going to do it later tonight, so stop on by. Say what's up. Maybe buy a couple packs. If not, I will open them, and we'll just run with it. But yeah, guys, have a great weekend. Bet some college football or bet NFL. I'm going to be betting NFL a lot, too. Uh, big fan. Not going to be doing uh, freaking <sighs> Allen Robinson to score touchdowns. What a bum. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm out. And as we always say to end this show, pull the big one. Oh, real quick. Oh, shit. We can't end the show real quick. Oh, shit. Grizzlore. Real quick, guys. This sells for uh, 24 more hours or whatever. Uh... Or in, tw in like, you know, it sells over the weekend, whatever. You get it for 18 bucks, guys. These sell. So keep an eye out for these. I know it's like unlimited for like a weekend, but it's weird. The Wonder One sold. Doug that talked about it on Discord. So check it out if you want to do it. All right, cool. Guys, check you later. Peace. Have a good one. And as we always say, to really end the show this time, pull the big one. All right, peace, guys. Have a great weekend. Catch you on the other side.